I'm not even exaggerating. This has been the greatest NFL playoffs ever. These are the greatest playoffs ever. Greatest playoffs ever. These are the greatest playoffs ever. These are the greatest NFL playoffs ever. Look, I'm not just being a prisoner of the moment. Football has been elite the past few weeks, and that's because these are the greatest NFL playoffs we've ever seen. In the opening week, two six seeds won in the wild card round. Offensive pass interference, my ass. Derrick Henry is a monster. Kirk Cousins finally had a playoff moment. Did not see that coming. You like that. This is the second time in two years that two six seeds have gone on to the divisional round. Prior to that, it hadn't happened since 2013 when the Saints and the Chargers won. In 2010, the Jets and the Packers won both their wild card and divisional round games. The Jets would lose in the conference championship game, but the Packers would go on to win the Super Bowl. F Aaron Rodgers. F Aaron Rodgers. F Aaron Rodgers. The Bills went up 16 on the Texans and then just forgot how to play football. Thanks to Deshaun Watson and some brain farts by Josh Allen, the Texans moved on in a thrilling overtime victory. To like that. DK Metcalf showed everybody why the three cone drill doesn't matter. Scouts are stupid. In the divisional round, the Texans ran up the score in the first quarter. Then the second quarter happened, and the Chiefs scored. On the run. And scored. And scored. Oops. After the Titans. Scored. After the Titans. And scored. After the Titans. And scored. After the Titans ran past the Patriots, they shocked the entire football world when they beat Lamar Jackson and the Ravens. Quote the Ravens offense, never scored. These playoffs are the worst. The NFL's rushing leader ran for 377 yards in the first two games. Like his defenses look like Swiss cheese. Can you imagine trying to tackle him in the open field? Oh, the stiff arm twice on. Ooh, you hate to see it. The Chiefs just scored again. Jimmy G got his playoff cherry pop, and the Niners' front seven penetrated the line of scrimmage so much, Kiera Mia would appreciate it. These playoffs are the worst. You like that? <laughs> the Niners front seven is scary. In Green Bay, Aaron Rodgers is back to his winning ways without the influence of McCarthyism. Pass to Adams, what a throw and catch. He was dropping dimes, man. F Aaron Rodgers. So now, conference championship weekend. The Titans are the underdogs here, but their run feels magical. Like when the Giants beat the Patriots. Shut up. The 49ers front seven are the things nightmares are made of. And Richard Sherman still patrols the secondary. Did you ever play me with a sorry receiver like Crabtree? The Chiefs have the quarterback of the future in Patrick Mahomes. But they also have Andy Reid. An offense that can score in bunches, Andy Reid. Big plays, Andy, I'm going with the Chiefs. Aaron Rodgers looks primed and ready to win his second Super Bowl ring, and the Packers won't go out like they did last time. But on behalf of the entire NFC North crew, Aaron Rodgers. Niners win.